Albertsons and Kroger merger. What could possibly go wrong, eh? Major merger announced between Kroger and Al Albertsons. Not long ago, this is my man Sundance over Conservative Treehouse, and I completely agree. Not long ago, I would have said to allow the free market to decide if a merger or acquisition was valuable. However, in the era with massive multinational corporations, investment groups, Mitt Romney type, Bain Capital and whatnot, and financial institutions have now used corporatism to merge their interests with government. Fascist is what this is. The massive multinationals need scrutiny. Two major food retailers, Kroger and Albertsons, have announced their intent to merge into one massive company in a deal. So I said, what are the two, what are the largest grocery stores right here? And this is USA by the numbers. And I've done a couple. This seems pretty legit to me. I can't guarantee you it's 100% legit, but in the uh, the research I've done, I've spent 20 minutes looking at it. It seems pretty doggone close. All right. CVS. Interesting. In terms of, the, so we're going to look at this right here. The 50, uh, American Summit of Weather and Gas Station, I would in fact, grocery store companies are among the largest growing industries in the U.S. in terms of overall ev revenue and creating jobs. The largest gre uh, retail stores right here is the largest grocery chain in the U.S. in terms of number of stores. They have 9,600 stores. Moreover, their revenue is by $86 billion, okay? And we got Walgreens, Boots Alliance. What are they trying to merge? I hope they don't. But anyways, keep going. Walmart makes sense. Oh, Kroger. Oh, whoa. Kroger and Albertsons, four and five. The second biggest retailer in the U.S. base of number of stores is Kroger. It was founded back in 18 and has a net annual revenue of $121 billion. So it's the second largest in terms of number of stores and is the, uh, look at, $121 billion in revenue. Number five, Albertsons. Let's take a look. Headquarter in Idaho, one of the largest grocery chains with uh, 2,300 stores and a revenue of $61 billion. So let's go back here. What could possibly go wrong? Because, you know, capitalism, baby. Hmm. The majority stakeholders in uh, Kroger are Vanguard and BlackRock. Great. The majority stakeholder in Albertson is institutional investment group Cerebius, whatever the hell that is. So now Vanguard and BlackRock are going to become the biggest shareholder and the biggest grocery retail uh, chain out there. Uh, that doesn't scare anybody. We know how evil BlackRock is. And Vanguard, I'm not, look, man. I, mm. In the past few years, food has surfaced as a growing national security issue. Foreign companies and large multinationals continue to expand their control over the U.S. farm production uh, 100%. A major retail level move, the merger of Kroger and Albertsons creates a weaker competitive environment and create gives a larger potential footprint to price control, monopolization, and green crap from Vanguard and BlackRock. You want to eat there? What is your carbon credit? What's your social credit score? Are you driving into here with an EV? Or are you driving in here on a freaking burping uh, moo cow? An ICE with a uh, SUV, you know, it's a uh, V8 diesel, huh? Yeah, you, you're going to have to pay an extra 10 cents. Sometimes bigger is just bigger and more controlling, not better. Yeah. Um, that said, with economic volatility continue to increase, the food sector is a safe harbor for massive investment shifts. And here's from CBS. Together, the companies will have more than 7, 700,000 workers and operate nearly 5,000 stores. Uh, let's see. Albertsons brings a complimentary footprint and operates in several parts of the country, which Kroger has no stores. Kroger will pay 34 bucks for a share. Anyway, I don't even care about it. I care about the fact that BlackRock, the evil of BlackRock, is going to own significant stakes in probably the largest grocery store and re food retailer out there. If that doesn't scare you, I don't know what to tell you, man. Actually, how much does BlackRock own at Walmart? Let's take a look. So just when I was looking at this, I came across this a Walmart diversity and inclusive conclusiveness report. They literally keep a scorecard and the check shows if Walmart discloses this data about the diversity of his board. So we have sexual orientation. So they're going to actually ask you who you sack up with so they can get a check for their sexual diverse, sexual diversity. So their uh, genderness or diversity and inclusiveness, your ability. We're going to check if you're able or unable. What the hell? Veterans, gender, this is freaking stupid. 
I'm so sick of crap. Anyway, let's go back. So I saw a whole sec. And it's shocking news. Uh, Vanguard owns almost 5% of Walmart and BlackRock owns almost 3.5% of Walmart. So there you go. That's shocking right there. So, and then it's SSGA, uh, the, the clowns over at SSGA who put the, uh, uh, the little girl like facing down the bull, even though they're discriminating against, allegedly against women, uh, they own 2.1. So here we go. We got, uh, what's that? Eight, yeah, but 10% of Walmart is owned by these three clowns, uh, titans of industry who want to rob you of your uh, livelihoods, that's for sure. So who is Cere Cereburus Capital Management? Let's take a look here, All right? One second. Let's take a look who Cerep, Cerber, I don't even know how to say it. Let's take a look here. Global leading alternative investing uh, with 60 billion assets across company. Okay, let's see what else we got. Just had to kind of chuckle. Residential, they're buying up residential real estate. See if they're big green people. Oh, experienced tenured. Oh, I thought it said professor. It's like wow. Uh, I don't see anything about green stuff so far. Stewardship code disclosure. Let me see what that's about. All right. So so far, I don't see anything about diversity and inclusion and uh, green stuff. So these guys might be all right. Um, you know, whatever. I I just uh, let's see. It's the green stuff that bothers me the most. Uh, let's see what we got. Oh, sweet. They don't have a whole lot about uh, being green, so good on them, man. That's, uh, well, good for you, Cerebus. I'm, I'm digging you guys. Doesn't mean they're not. I just don't see leadership principles. Let's see the principles going to be the uh, investment principles. All right. Inclusion, risk management, discipline, transparency. All right. All right, good. So they, uh, they seem like they're all right. I don't see anything that jumps out at me that says, oh, my goodness, we're... We're going to be like BlackRock and be green for everything. All right, so these guys look right. All right. All right. Uh, was, was that, did I see Feinberg? Yeah, Feinberg. Oh, okay. Interesting. All right. Anyway, so as BlackRock takes over more of your, uh, not only commercial real estate, but also your food, or not commercial real estate, but just real estate, uh, but also food production, nothing could go wrong there. Let's just, while we're at it, go back to old Black. Nah, I'm not going to even bring up their website because... It's just, it's not worth it. But anyway, there you go. What could possibly go wrong? I hope the FTC, uh, Federal Trade Commission, hope they say net. We'll see you.